Hi, this is Joseph Reyna, Inside Sales Engineer here at BrecoFlex, and today we'll be showing a quick demonstration of our calculation program. Once you navigate to this page, you can see that we have two options here, linear drive and power transmission. We will begin with the linear drive program. Here you will be presented with the four linear drive layouts. We'll select the first one as an example. Now you can enter the load data and calculation type depending on which information is available. The options are starting and braking torque or starting and braking acceleration. Once you have all the information filled out, you can select the Calculate tab. This will give you an overview of the results. To get a more detailed report, you can select Journal. This page shows the full results, including both of the safety factors. You can return to the previous tab to make adjustments until you are satisfied with the results. Now let's take a look at the power transmission program. First, you want to select your belt type using the drop down menu. Then you can adjust the pulley geometry as needed. Use the arrows to change the highlighted pulley so that you can edit the X and Y position or the tooth count. Here you can also add and remove pulleys if required or change the rotation of a pulley. Before you can proceed, you have to make sure that the belt fits one of the standard belt lengths. Under belt, you want to select preferential length design. This will allow you to adjust the position of the highlighted pulley to fit a preferential length. Now you can select the power tab at the top to enter your power inputs. Here you need to enter RPM as well as either power, torque, or circumferential force. Once you have this filled out, you can click on the calculation button and proceed to the report tab. Now you have an overview of the geometry, the power inputs, and the power data for both pulleys, including both of the safety factors. Again, you can return to the previous tab to make any adjustments until you get the desired outputs. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. Thank you for listening.